the, the problem with the, the community rating provision as it stands in the age bands that require that insurers charge uh, three times as a maximum of three times as much for their oldest uh, insured versus their youngest insured is that it effectively doesn't really make health insurance less expensive for the elderly, but it makes health insurance a lot more expensive for the young. And so that uh, makes uh, a lot of y young people decide, you know, why should I spend $3,000 a year for health coverage when uh, I go to the doctor once a year and I'm in perfect health? Even paying the individual mandate, or whatever that turns out to be for a lot of people, is not going to be that expensive compared to what it would cost for a full years of pre a year of premiums for someone who's that young and that healthy. So if you really want to expand coverage, you have to remember that the vast majority of people who are uninsured are young. And uh, you should really be trying to cater to those individuals. And so expanding uh, the age band, the, the effect of that would be, I think, to expand coverage because it would make uh, the cost of those uh, plans a lot less expensive for a lot of the people today who are just entering the workforce who either either unemployed or having a tough time finding a job or have a job that doesn't offer health benefits. Those are people who particularly need to get coverage and uh, the community rating age ban, which was, uh, um, which was only installed at the behest of the AARP, it was not some sort of fundamental uh, untouchable political principle in the law, uh, you know, that's something that should be eliminated in my view.